This is the picture postcard image of Bolivia's indigenous women. Market traders, wives and mothers, traditional, submissive and marginalized. But not anymore. They've been wrestling now for some years, a display of assertiveness and a major tourist attraction. They're also flexing their muscles in business, politics and fashion. But now Bolivia's indigenous women, known as cholitas, are taking a step into a field previously dominated by Bolivian men and foreigners. The women from this region are challenging the taboo, the stereotype by climbing the mountains wearing their traditional skirts and asking, why can't we? Alicia cooked for foreign mountaineering expeditions, joining them at Great Andean Heights, above the snow line where the oxygen is sparse. Her husband, Agustin, is a mountain guide. The way she started climbing, gradually going up to 5,200 meters, and that got her excited. She asked me, what's it like on the summit? How do you feel in the mountains? So Alicia climbed, inspiring other indigenous women to follow her lead. Mountaineering has always been about pushing human endeavor to the limits. But now Bolivia's indigenous women are reaching new peaks. And they're doing it in their own style and wearing their own unique style of clothing. She's already scaled the 6,088-metre Huayana Potosí, just north of the capital, La Paz, and has several other peaks in her sights, including Latin America's highest, Aconcagua in Argentina. Other women are being inspired to climb mountains. Why not? They've seen us climbing with our skirts on, and they don't see why they shouldn't do it too. Alicia and Monica say indigenous women have been wearing their traditional skirts in the Bolivian Andes for generations, and they're no impediment to traversing rugged terrain or scaling sheer ice faces. But there's no limit to the heights Bolivian's indigenous women can reach. <laughs> Daniel Schwander, Al Jazeera, La Paz, Bolivia.